How we doing, everybody? Your old pal Bob Ganesh here again. Day 81. Time to start the roller coaster. Uh, roller coaster, 13 and a half miles, 11 peaks. Oh boy, that's a lot of up and down. We've done it once before. We'll do it again. We got some thunderstorms coming in this evening that we're really looking forward to. <laughs> And then we get on into Harper's Ferry Monday afternoon. We head on into DC then. I'm gonna spend the day with some friends, my REI family, so on and so forth. Really looking forward to it. In the meantime, we got a long journey in front of us. I'll see you guys further up the way. Hey everybody, welcome back. Yeah, it's dark. I haven't been hiking for all that long, but it's seriously dark. And guess what? It's only 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm walking dead on into some major, major thunderstorms. Not sure if you guys can actually hear it in the background besides my slosh sloshing foot feet footprints. Blech. Oh boy. This one's gonna be a doozy. So we're heading up to Sam Moore Shelter. I'm all I'm probably about less than two and a half miles from it. Fernando's a few minutes behind me. And we got this storm that's about to roll in in a major, major way. Here comes the rain right now. <laughs> so I got my uh, my Mylar blanket sitting next to me just in case it gets really bad and I need to just sit down, put it over me and kind of get it out of the rain a little bit. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I got my pack cover on already. Rain jacket is ready to go whenever I need it. We'll play it by ear, see what happens. Oh man, this is gonna be a good one. Oh boy, I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, especially I'm ridge lining a little bit, going through the roller coaster in Virginia. So I'm up at elevation and there's a storm rolling in. Love it, love it. So wish me luck. I'll see you guys further up ahead. So here we are everybody, 1,000 miles, and boy is it making me pay for it. Oh man, but huge milestone, 1,000 miles, it's really coming down. I'm actually a little bit afraid right now because the thunder and lightning is really close. It's really heavy. This rain is really, really coming down. And it's actually a little, it's a little bit calmer right now than it was a few minutes ago. But 1,000 miles, baby, woo! It's a shame that I'm not really able to kind of celebrate it a little bit more because I'm afraid for my life and I have to get out of here and get up to the shelter as fast as possible. Well, that's the name of the game. I'll see you guys when I get to shelter. Wish me luck. Yeah. This is so sketchy. I just came across this. So sketchy. Okay, so the other day in those torrential downpours, this river was so overflowed you could not even pass it. There's a couple saying that the water was up to about a foot below this lodge. You can imagine how deep that was. It's still very deep, it's still raging, which is why we're crossing this way. It's back up there, all the rocks are completely submerged. It's about three or four feet deep and rushing. This is the safest way, even though it's a really sketchy way. Just taking our time, we'll get there. How we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganesh here. So it is Monday, June 4th. We're heading on into Harper's Ferry, getting picked up and heading on into DC to see a few friends. But as of right now, we are leaving the roller coaster. We're doing a pretty nice big day, like 23 miles and change into Harper's Ferry. We did take a zero day yesterday and that's because of the rain and everything. 
Um, rivers have still been really, really high. So we're just kind of playing it safe. As well as I can't get picked up till later this evening anyway. So, you know, we figured we'd just kind of take our time and get there. We had a zero day available to take. And so we took it on a rainy day. Why not? So today, like I said, we're doing 23, about 23 and a half miles into Harper's Ferry. Leaving the roller coaster means that we're going to be entering West Virginia soon. Everything in front of me is super, super easy. Um, I've done this section quite a few times. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's really nice and simple. So we're able to kind of pick up the pace a little bit, stretch the legs out, get on in. My ride should be coming in to uh, Harper's Ferry around 7, 7.30. I expect to arrive around 6.30. So it should be nice timing. Should be nice timing. So one caveat with that is unfortunately the ATC headquarters, um, you know, the unofficial halfway point, they close at five o'clock. So which means I can't get my picture taken and things like that, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Oh man, finally some sun. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. A little humid, but sun shining. Maybe I can dry my wet socks out, my wet shirt out. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to a night, a couple nights in D.C., visiting some friends, visiting my uh, REI family as well, all my uh, coworkers. Really looking forward to seeing them. It's going to be a good time. And then it's heading on up to New Jersey. Up to New Jersey in just a couple short weeks where I get to see my family, get to see my niece, get to see all my friends up there and everything as well. Oh man, unbelievable. Passed a thousand miles just the other day. We're heading on up to halfway. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're getting there. Time to crank out the miles, stretch the legs. I'll see you guys further up the trail. Well, all right, all right, how we doing everybody? Oh boy, long, long day. But guess what? We just got out of Virginia. We are in West Virginia. Finally, Virginia, you suck. You've thrown everything that you've had at us. It was terrible. We're still going though. Oh boy. <laughs> so we're uh, only a couple miles from uh, Harper's Ferry, which is great. Kyle's going to be meeting us there in about an hour. We'll get picked up, go into DC, get some good food, see my friends, see my coworkers. Tomorrow we'll have the day off kind of deal to go around, uh, go around town, get what we need to get done. We have new shoes, some new supplies waiting for us in town already. Thank uh, you. What's up? Thank you. Right. Thank you, Jeebus. And so, uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to that. We'll send some stuff home as well. We have a couple things that we got to send home. Um, and then, yeah, Fernando gets his new tent tomorrow as well. We got to figure out how we're going to seam seal that son of a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Now we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. If it's a nice day tomorrow, maybe what we'll do is we'll just go to like the national plaza. <laughs> Right out on the Capitol lawn, just set it up, seam seal it, sit there for a couple hours and get a tan, and then package it up and go home kind of deal. <laughs> so yeah, long day, 23 miles. I think it's like 23.2 miles or something like that. But good day, tough day. With all the water and all the rain that we've had recently as well, the streams have been so tough crossing. The trails have just been so filthy. Just literally just giant puddles and giant mud mud sloshes that we've been walking through. It's been a tough day. Oh boy. Looking forward to get some R&R. &R. See some good friends though. That'll definitely uh, put a little pep in my step when we go to hit Maryland on Wednesday. Getting ourselves back up to here Wednesday. <laughs> we'll figure that one out. We do have the train available to us, but who knows, maybe we'll take like an Uber or Lyft or something so we can get here during the day, get our picture taken at the uh, ATC kind of thing. We gots to do it, we gots to do it. Taking a picture ourselves and emailing it might not suffice. We gots to, gots to go through the uh, tradition of getting our picture taken. Looking forward to it. In the meantime, we got less than two miles to go. It's a little past 6.30. Oh boy, long, long day. I'll see you guys further up the trail. I'll see you guys when we get to the ATC headquarters. Baba Ganoush. Oh, holy smokes. I have never seen the river like this before in my life. This is how much water is going. The footbridge to get over into Maryland to get up to Ed Darby shelter is completely closed. It's about waist deep water all along the road. It's too dangerous to pass. Holy smokes. I've never seen anything like this before in my life.
This is intense. There's actually a couple kayakers who actually are going down this river right now. Obviously super dangerous. But if they know what they're doing, better off. <laughs> More power to ya. Not gonna catch me kayaking or doing anything in the water like this. This is just crazy. This is nuts. Look at that. Wow, unbelievable, so dangerous. So we're getting into DC. We're gonna take a day, maybe two, see if the water can subside a little bit. And then we'll get up on the way. I'll see you guys in a little while. Woo!